All right, welcome everyone to our required neighborhood meeting for Bearwood Avenue. This is rezoning petition 2024-034. My name is Nolan Gross. I'm with Urban Design Partners representing Jackson Castle LLC on this rezoning petition. So this, this petition consists of two parcels on the north and south of Bearwood Avenue. Here you can see parcel 09104, 101, which is located on the northern side of Bearwood Avenue. As well as the second parcel, 09104222, which is located across the street on the southern side of, southern side of the street. Here you have an aerial showing the 0.37 acres located on the northern and southern sides of Bearwood Avenue, east of East Sugar Creek Road, to the northeast of North Davidson Street, and north of Redwood Avenue. So what is zoning? Why are we having a community meeting this evening? Um, what are zoning districts? What are the types of zoning districts? Zoning is a city's method of classifying land by usage. It promotes development in a smart, reliable fashion. This chart shows current zoning districts under the City of Charlotte Unified Development Ordinance. The chart shows least intensive place types or zoning districts to the most. So you start with neighborhood one, which this petition is requesting to rezone from CG, General Commercial, to N1C. You also have zoning districts such as ML, Manufacturing and Logistics, or TOD, which is a transit-oriented development. There are two types of rezoning petitions in North Carolina, a conventional petition and a conditional petition. We have requested a conventional petition, which would allow the uses authorized under the Unified Development Ordinance. A few other background and planning related items, the first being the Charlotte Unified Development Ordinance. The UDO simplifies and consolidates while updating regulations that guide Charlotte's development into a single document, aligning with standards of the 2040 Comprehensive Plan. The Charlotte 2040 Comprehensive Plan, uh, which is a policy document. It's a living document and a framework that's meant to guide cities' decision makers and investment in the near and long term. There's also the 2040 policy map, which is a future land use map helping identify land uses that are most suitable for development. Here's a current zoning district map in the city of Charlotte. As I've previously mentioned, the site is currently zoned CG General Commercial. Uh, to the north and west, you have TOD CC, which are community centers, as well as TOD TR, which are transit transition districts. The majority of this area to the east of the site is currently zoned N1C. So our goal is to align with the zoning of the residential neighborhood. Here's the Charlotte Future 2040 policy map, identifying the site and all surrounding neighborhood as neighborhood one. So this is what's known as a consistent rezoning petition. The remaining area, although the TOD zoning is identified as a community activity center. So neighborhood one is meant for residential dwellings and ancillary neighborhood services, such as schools, community centers, and places of worship. And again, the, the reasoning behind this rezoning petition is to align with the existing neighborhood character and neighborhood place type. Here's a tentative timeline for rezoning petition 2024-034. This evening, April 30th, 2024, we're having our required community meeting. We're anticipating going before the Zoning Committee and City Council for a public hearing on June 17th, followed by a recommendation from the Zoning Committee on July 2nd, with an ultimate City Council decision date of August 19th, 2024. Now, th these dates are subject to change pending any necessary deferrals. 
Um, the city of Charlotte will send out two mailed notices prior to the public hearing, uh, informing all surrounding property owners of that date and time. If you have any questions about this rezoning petition, feel free to reach out to me. I can be contacted via email at ingross at urbandesignpartners.com or by phone at 704-334-3303. Thank you for joining us, watching this recording of our community meeting. Hope you have a great week. Stay safe and take care.